hard day to get away from the yeah. professional. Tuesday's fine. <laughs> we chilling. Like if it's Friday, we'll uh, we'll tighten the belt and be a little bit more yeah. professional. But all right, we getting as long right as into. As you get your offline smash, as long as we have some fun, we're all having a good time. And well, as far as a good time, this is a pretty good set ahead of us. Yeah, we got, we're getting right into things. We got uh, guy guy top Luigi rep on Long Island and Sone. Top Ike rep on Long Island. And overall around good guy. Ooh. But not being good enough to not get zero to death. Yeah, no. I, I, guy Guy is so consistent with like finding different routes to get along these uh, lead ins to upbeat. That's one thing I learned from playing with him and watching him over the past few weeks is that like he doesn't just need the bread and butter. He will still f figure out a way to chase you down. He knows what he needs in order to get his hit confirmed. Yeah, and he's a smart Luigi too, like... I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but... Yeah, no, it's, it, but it's dangerous nonetheless. <laughs> I mean, any character with a smart player in, in the in the right hands, you know, is dangerous in this game, but, you know, especially a character like Luigi who can just kind of make you explode. I mean, when you really think about it in a competitive field, like, what more does a character want than to be able to zero to death? That's true. That's the end game of any fighting game character, to kill you in one touch. And so it that tornado getting through the up air. It's hilarious. Ooh, I like the weight there, too, for the up air. Like, Luigi is such a strange character because it feels like they've reached his end game so quickly. Like, you get to the zero to death, and that's it. What more do you have? It's like New Game Plus after that. And so I feel like Luigi has this low skill ceiling, and he forces you to become a better player if you want to be a better Luigi. So I'm bringing this damage right back after being down a whole stock. I hit hard, man. Yeah. Uh, back here, though, not quite enough to take it. Yo, hit, hit the Radiant here with all these plungers. It's getting it done. It's a really good projectile. It's disjoint. It's weird. It's weird. It's a disjoint. But no, regardless, it's working for Guy Guy. There's the point to be made as he sits with 83% on his second stock and is on the hunt to kill out Zone. Yeah, out of the range, but getting a lot of damage off of it. <laughs> we just said, ouch. <laughs> yeah, no, that's our job. <laughs> and the oh, up that's Ike's job yeah. after that. Yeah, reckon sure you. yeah, recognizing, you know, someone pressed the button at the wrong time and just said, okay, time to die. All right, a very convincing game for Guy Guy. Let's see if Sone's able to make the adjustments to pull on through. To return to Small Battlefield, I actually think it's a pretty smart choice. While Guy Guy, I feel, played the stage really well, I do feel like it is a better stage for Ike. But it's on Sone to prove that. Yeah. Here we are getting into game number two. Let's see if Sone's able to not just let Guy Guy run away with a very early lead. That, and I think like that was the big thing in that first game was, you know, he just kind of got touched and died. Yeah, no, it wasn't even so much just a zero to death. It was an uncontested zero to death. So Sone's just straight up playing behind the stock. The tornado game through the up air yet again. Tornado, pretty good for Luigi to get out of situations. Yeah, no, it's it's a good uh, combo breaker. I like the wait on the uh, guy. Guy is very good at waiting for those up airs. As a player, guy guy likes to like, just sit there. He knows you're scared of Luigi. He hears the memes. He knows what people say about the Luigi player. So let that do the work for him. And he'll do the rest. That's true. And that's fair. That's going to take that first stock, first zone. Yeah, unfortunately for Guy Guy, Sone is not the kind of player to simply buy into the uh, traditional character feat mentality. Yeah. He sees opponent, he beats opponent. It's just a matter of how he beats opponent. And Guy Guy currently giving him more trouble than usual. Typically speaking, Sone has a pretty solid record against Guy Guy. But. Hey, gets Guy the Guy grab. Is improving. That's what we like to see. Ooh, misses it. And goes to the legend instead. So not able to get the up B punish. Wait, is this Luigi's Mansion music playing right now? Yes. Did they pick this? I think Guy Guy may have picked it. All right, but either way, ooh, the up smash call out from Sone. Just getting the damage with it. Quick draw, able to clear him off of the ledge. The jab lock into the up B. Yep, that's going to take that stock there. It's like the Shinshiro. <laughs> Just with stubby Italian arms. 
All right, forward tilt there, not Ooh. gonna be quite enough to take it. That forward tilt from Ike, very strong. We got the two pillar. Could have charged it a little longer. I don't know if it would have made the first pillar any larger, but he can get a couple of pillars of fire out of it. Ooh, getting so much damage here off of one interaction. Like, even if you're out of the range of the zero to death, like, Luigi's still a very scary character. Yeah, no, because it's like, it may not be a zero to death, but it could still be damage. Someone just jumping up here off of the, off of the ledge there, catching Guy Guy. I like that as an option a lot because like Sun's constantly seeing Guy Guy putting himself close by to put out an option. Whether or not it's a short hop aerial or if he's using the extension of the missed grab. So like just trying to contest it with a hitbox makes perfect sense and I just got the range to make it happen. Alright, here we go, getting into game number three. Okay. Are we sticking with small battlefield? I didn't see yes we are. All small battlefield. All the weakest mansion. All the way. All right, so I'm playing with a bit of a fire beneath him now. Uh, it's on Guy Guy to see if he can clean up the set, and he manages to get the first hit. Yeah, getting a lot of damage here. Ooh, missing oh. the up B. I don't want to see him getting reckless with those buttons. His patience is, I feel like, one of his strongest. Uh... Parry into the up tilt. Up B, not quite enough to take it, but it's damage. <laughs> the tornado getting out of the fairs. That was interesting. So I'm not really positioned for any better of a punish. But. Yeah. I guess Guy Guy went for like a back air and then realized he put himself out of position and just immediately tornadoed, knowing that someone was going to be able to throw an, an aerial. Oh, he dropped oh. too deep. Rare Unfortunate. Jab puts him off stage. He didn't really have a faster button to put out in that situation. I think that's what Sona's is realizing is that like Ike's slow buttons kind of hurt him in this particular matchup. So while he has the damage output to deal with Luigi zero to death, assuming it doesn't end with that, yeah, um, he doesn't have much else to uh -oh. talk about. Oh no, Guy Guy, why are you going down there that far? Yeah, no, I mean, if you think about it, that worked out well for Guy Guy because now Sone's on last stock. Last stock in game three, he's got a lot of work ahead of him. That's true. Just you know, sometimes losing a stock, you know, just like unnecessarily though. Solid down air, right. just like that. Guy Guy takes the 2 1, puts him in winner's finals to go fight Amaryllis. That's going to be an interesting one.